Okay, so the engine is now in. Um, all we need to do now is obviously start it. We've removed it from uh, the workshop uh, to bring it outside. I'm going to just give it a little start now. So now the bike's running, what we're going to do is give it a little clean, all the plastics, give it a good old uh, deep clean because I don't think it's been cleaned properly for a very long time and uh, see how it comes out. So the bike's now clean. Um, I had to do a voiceover due to the engine um, not sounding great with the uh, audio of the clip. Uh, the mud guard needs to be repaired. I have already started to do that. Uh, I put some photos in of the auto filter cover. I've just polished that up. It took a little while. It took longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, there's a few more things that the bike needs. Um, I want to do a chain tensioner uh, on it as well. Um, I do need to properly clean the spokes. You see, I started one there. Um, it looked really good when it's actually done. Fuel tank is another thing we need to be replacing or getting fixed depending on cost. So now we're going to be going up to the top. There you are. So you can see it's got three bars on there. Um, it's got the engine management light on. So we've ordered a computer for the engine management light to be able to rectify the fault that's on there. We're not sure what it is yet. We're going to have to wait and see. Obviously, there'll be a video on that. Um, yeah, keep on watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Any comments? Obviously, if anyone's got um, a problem with one of their bikes, whether it be a Prilia, uh, something with the same engine or the same engine management system, with the uh, little computer that we're going to get, we'd be more than happy to be able to plug your uh, your bike in and, and sort of check to see what's wrong and, and potentially help fix it fix it with you. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I know it's been a short video, but obviously every view is appreciated.